but there's a certain guy that I like that I like um it may be like obsession with him because um he thinks I'm crazy I don't know his people think I'm crazy but that's not the case with me um I just don't know staring like that <laughs> it's a certain um guy I'm not um gonna mention his name but he probably knows who he is but his people probably think I'm crazy but they can think what they want to think because they don't even know the whole mindset of mine of why this why that like God can use people in extraordinary ways and if I wanted to meet this person, I could meet this person and they can't stop it because God's in control. And if I want to take a picture of him, I would take a picture of him. And that's it. I accomplished my goals. And I accomplished my goals coming to the city to see what the city is about. So, yeah. But. Um. I don't know. I don't want to date this person because I know like they're not living for God really as living it out as they talk about God, but you got to live it out. And you can't be making all that, you know, but um, I just think I'm just like, like this person and I just wanted to see him in person one day. I don't know. It's just my weird um, personal thing. Nothing weird of them. Nothing weird. No weirdness to it. So I'm just I'm just, um, not thinking nothing of it, weird, plus it's my life, and so, I'm not hurting anybody, but, and some people can get jealous, like, you're supposed to be his friend, like, don't be jealous. But um yeah, that's it, like um I don't um, expect anything from nothing. I'm not expecting anything from anybody. I'm just here chilling. But eventually, probably, I'll probably eventually move away to a different city state because I'm always moving around. Guys, I'm always moving around. Like, I have to move around. This is just me. And But I don't believe in turning my nose up to, like, people that are not living for God and not, like, um, having a conversation with them or talking to them. Because I think the Bible says, like, you're supposed to, like, live. You're supposed to, but like, live, a, live your way as God, godly, to be an example for them and to even be respectful to them but not um conform to their ways if they're like doing the opposite living worldly and doing stuff you know
But one thing about Tennessee is that you can wave at people in the cars and they're still wave back to you and be friendly to you and try to help you out, they will. Put your groceries in the cart and ask you if you're okay because that's what they were doing to me. Like, I went to the dollar store, Dollar General, and this lady, she was like, are you thirsty? Because I was buying a lot of water. And she was like, are you thirsty? And she was like, do you need any help? And she was helping me put the stuff on the counter, helping me bag the stuff. She helped me um, push a chair to me so I could sit down and ask the lady, can she sit on this chair? And I'm like, wow, these people are so nice here. Like, mostly of them, they're all nice. I'm not saying everybody's like that here, but mostly these people are nice that I came around was trying to help me, offer me water, um, just starting conversations with you. They don't even know you out of nowhere. They're just friendly. And this is stuff I didn't experience in Pennsylvania as much as here. Like, so it's all new to me. I'm not from here, so this is new to me. And I'm from Pennsylvania, guys. I'm originally from Pennsylvania, born and raised in Pennsylvania. I grew up in Pennsylvania all my life. So I need to see new things around the world because you only get one life and you have to use it, but you're gonna use it in God's way, you know? The whole point of life is, of why God created it, is to live it out for him and to share his word, really. Not to live for your own desires, as most people live. That's the meaning of life, really. And people don't know that because they don't understand why are they here. And the Bible tells you, in the Bible... It tells us in the first book of Genesis how we was created. It tells us how God made us, how he made us. He tells how God made a woman. He took the rib from the man and made the woman. And that's a special thing, a woman, because she came out of a man's rib. How God created this universe is just extraordinary. So, yeah, but we get back to that later and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.